This video is a continuation of my October 20th workout. Please see the warm up and abs, which is the of the series, and part 2A, which expands part of this video. So check these two videos out. So I start this video by showing you how I set up my work workout stations to do my chest circuit since the gym was empty as you can see nobody was there and this circuit I will introduce my body with a new chest press weight which is 30 pound not much for some but I decided to increase my weight if you see the first part uh, of the series for this video where I explain um, how I position myself you'll, you'll see why I increased the weight so I will start with the 30 pound on the flat bench which is about hundred which is pretty much 180 degrees and an incline bench about 130 degrees and slightly or incline about 170 degrees so I will do the presses with one hand at a time with 30 pounds moving from one bench to the next without much rest and I will do as many reps as I can but no less than eight reps I only show one set of the circus no, not circus circuit on this video Once I'm done with the benches, I will be moving to the Smith machine where it's flat. I will be doing a set of 21s where I do 7 reps 3 times with my hands positioned at different areas on the bar. The weight is, 30, uh, is 20 pounds, 10 pounds on each side.
Next, I will move to another Smith machine doing chest press standing. This time the weight is 10 pounds, 5 pounds on each side. And right after that, on the Sam Smith machine, um, I put those two pads, I, I can't think of their names right now, but uh, I will be doing core stretches, which I find very helpful for my shoulders and uh, my core. This is good for my, ch uh, my chest and my rotator cuff muscles, especially after doing all of those presses. Please note that as I go down these different exercises, I reduce the weight. There is no way I'll do more than 30 pounds on each of these exercises, uh, especially after doing all of these. I'll be completely out of breath and most likely I'll injure myself. So I reduce the weight as I go down the, the exercises. So this will be one circuit and I'll do three different uh, three sets of all of these on a circuit but I only record one one set like when I did the presses with one arm at a time I didn't use proper form this time with both arms I know that my rotator cuff muscles are rest firmly on the bench pad and I try to push the weight with my chest muscles. Same as the one arm presses, I did the presses with both arms on the flat bench and the incline. I then do 170 degrees incline because someone came in to use it, so I skipped it. Um, it's all good. What's very important during the presses with both arms is to use proper form. Allow the stabilized muscles to be stable and use your core muscles and feet to help you push the weight. No bad form this time around. Again, see the first part. Workout video October 20th, 2015, workout part A, steps to increase my PR to see my explanation on doing the presses with a new weight, which is 30 pounds for me. Once I was done with the presses with both arms on the benches, I did some standing presses with a barbell. This time, I didn't use the Smith machine. I wanted my core muscles to be more engaged. They were engaged when I did it with um, when I did it on the Smith machine. It's just something different. Once you're done with some of those routines, you're going to feel like something fell on your chest for days. It's really good. I hope you try these routines. So I hope uh, you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share if you like it. Thank you.